Hi everyone I wish you a warm welcome to Usatility. Do you know what? We are on the way to discover how to play Saint Seiya Awakening on PC. As you can see now you are displaying it on screen. It takes almost no time to simply download and install Saint Seiya Awakening so that we can enjoy playing your game on a Windows desktop or laptop using our keyboard, mouse and large monitor. Then without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, to get started we need to launch our favorite browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you're able to see on the screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because I provided the link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived right here on our site of Usatility, at which we include a detailed description on the best way to obtain Saint Seiya Awakening on personal computer. We browse down a bit and mouse click on the Download Game on PC button. After clicking on the link, we get to the site of LD Player. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will load to enjoy the game Saint Seiya Awakening on the PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of pros of using this emulator. Custom controls, multiple instances, instant synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and the list goes on. Then, we will proceed to download the Saint Seiya Awakening by simply clicking on this button Download Saint Seiya Awakening on PC that you can see here in green. Next step is clicking on the button. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It is a file to execute. What we have to do is to launch the executable file, OK, then we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We click Yes. I reduce the browser to see the installation software significantly better. The installation software is really easy to understand. It consists of a couple of choices. Install and Setup Path. I will show you what Setup Path does. We merely simply click on it. And now we observe that we have here the path where the emulator is going to be placed. If we want to change this folder we have got to click on this Browse button. Therefore we decide on another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we choose. To keep it simple, just set it where it is. Then, I click on Back. And therefore I simply click on Install. At this point, before beginning the installation of this emulator, will also be possible that it will offer us one or more software packages to put on on the computer. As I do not want to have any of those software, I only press each time on the Reject option. Great, the installation starts and it is going to carry on in the download of those megabytes that are visible on our computer screen. The time you save it on your hard drive, it might possibly be slightly more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate can be at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your type of connection and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator hosting servers. Now they're going really fast. The download is has been successful, and so at this moment it continues on with the setup procedure. The setup will take more or less time primarily based on the strength of your personal computer, the more powerful it's actually, the shorter the software setup time and or vice versa. If we add together the download and software installation stage it normally takes a very long time, so be patient. It is by now completely finished for me. At this point, the emulator has been launched successfully. As you will notice, down here, there is a progress bar which will fill up then when it reaches the end, the emulator is started for the very first time. The reality is the emulator was already launched, there for the first time. Not to mention LD Store is immediately launched, which is actually a sort of Google Play. It's not the smartest way to install the video game, therefore I tend not to recommend it, basically because possibly the LD Store puts an out-of-date version of the game. Let me reveal the right way to set up the Android game utilizing the Google Play and I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we are required to do is to visit computer's desktop by simply clicking on this icon that I am indicating in green color. Before we continue on, as you can observe, it has created a couple of software icons right here on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player icon is the only one we're concerned with. Anytime we would like to run Saint Seiya Awakening on the laptop or computer, we double-click that app icon and consequently launch the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon is not about multiplayer or even anything at all like that. In reality, it's an app icon that we might certainly never start using. We should perform the next step, which is actually a requirement, and this is to access the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will browse here to, System Apps, we click on. And we are going to simply click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is launched. Here we are required to log on. At present as soon as we are on this page, we must definitely perform the next step that is definitely absolutely mandatory. Therefore mouse click on, Sign In. At this point it says, Checking Info. It can once in a while get blocked in, Checking Info, additionally it fails to move forward. In that case, you could try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it may probably be fixed. At this point we will enter our email address and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email and its associated password. For instance you could use the same email you're using currently in your YouTube account. 
so that I will type in my info and I will go back immediately after I have accomplished it. That's all, details entered. Find out Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. We are going to accept them all by just clicking, I agree. After that, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also let it select it and it will create a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We click on accept. From now Google Play is launched as favorite choice and instantly. Whenever the Google Play is simply not started automatically and you do not know how to start it by yourself, I reveal to you how to do it right. The first thing is to proceed to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this software icon marked in green color. At this time we go to the system apps folder and we click the Play Store icon. Fine, we're here into Google Play. What we shall accomplish now is go here to search for apps and games. Then we are going to search for Saints Say Your Awakening. So there we have got it. We should go through the first result. Right here we get the game. Let's simply click now on the install choice that I'm highlighting now in green color. Therefore it will begin the installation. Straight away it is going to download and install the game. It can take quite some time or perhaps it could be almost immediate. It again all varies on our connection to the web. This has just ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by hitting this option that I'm emphasizing in green, in order to launch Saint Seiya Awakening for the very first time. I am by now on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're on the way to mouse click on this new Saint Seiya Awakening software icon which was generated. That video game is launched for the first time. So there we get it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the volume of that emulator. It's right here, we have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this way we don't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we will switch on the large monitor, for which we have two options. That is the first one, we mouse click on this particular software icon that I am actually designating in green color. Then the screen is maximized, having one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Supposing that we really want to launch the game using all the screen, we press on this particular icon and we'd already be experiencing and enjoying the Android game in 100% screen setting. To exit the full screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And therefore we would likely already play in regular display screen setting. At this moment I am starting to clarify you the keyboard mapping and that is definitely rather enjoyable. This way we will probably be ready to operate the game app more effortlessly. The first task is to click on this application icon. And right now there you will be able to make the recommended controls. I'll go ahead and leave the default settings, however if you choose to change this, you may well do this without having problem. I just take this chance to comment that once in a while, when launching the Android game a dark screen occurs, if this is so and you get the black display and this emulator fails to start, I suggest a viable technique. We should browse here, to the cogwheel. Inside the emulator options, in the advanced option we have now different graphic resolutions. This is the resolution we've previously decided to go with automatically therefore we must select any of these additional image resolutions, for instance this particular one below. We pick it and then simply click save. It will certainly require us to reboot the emulator and once rebooted, likely the emulator will commence and the black display screen will go away completely. Obviously, the emulator is totally in our language. Once in a while it occurs that your emulator is started in the wrong language, for example, in Mandarin. Then to set it in the right language we browse here to the cogwheel. So here within many other controls, we mouse click on the language, drop down. We can decide on the language we need, German, Japanese, and so on. Once the language is determined, we would save, the emulator will reboot, and also the game, next time we use it, would of course be in the picked language. At this time, there's another detail that we have to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive a message from Gmail telling you that a different electronic device has been connected with our own Google account. It will likely ask us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. That's right, we may not get worried, simply because the emulator is acting as an Android tablet or smartphone. And then to discover which device is currently being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. And so we go here to the, model, option. And now we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for the video user demo. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, especially that you thought it was informative. In that case, give it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and any remarks, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment field down below. You could even comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams ever so often, you get it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click on any of the videos which are usually appearing on the suggestion of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the upcoming training videos. Bye.